So you guys know that I've made my fair share of Fortnite montage tutorials inside of DaVinci Resolve. And honestly, I haven't posted one in a really, really long time. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be teaching you how to edit your very own Fortnite montage from start to finish for 100% free with no plugins. So literally, if you just got a computer, you don't need to install anything other than the editing software. Check out the links down below in the description, drop a sub, and let's get right into it. So quickly, before I actually hop into DaVinci Resolve, I want to quickly talk about my edit pack. My edit pack is insane. It's like $5. So many people have bought it over the the course of the last couple of years i've made updates to it i'm making a big update soon so if you want to grab it while it's still five dollars make sure you go check it out but i'll quickly take a minute to walk you guys through what i have in this pack for only five dollars literally the cost of a burger at mcdonald's i got all these presets for davinci resolve after effects premier vegas i got like plugins so i have like non-plugin effects i have these ones that do involve plugins there's so many different things that i use for my own stuff i have clips that i show in this tutorial project files for my old montages and motion graphics to make your own ident sound effects practice clips like I said color correction render settings fun I got this big massive updates file so if you guys want to actually pick this up for yourself I'll have the pay hip link down in the description go pick it up if you guys have any questions whatsoever go hit me up on my Twitter I'll have that down below I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys may have about the editing pack itself what you get when you buy it. I don't want to take too much time away from the tutorial just go check out the link the pack speaks for itself I got a trailer over on the page right there that you guys can watch to learn what's actually in the pack itself but I hope you guys do learn something and enjoy the video all right so we got DaVinci Resolve open right now all we're gonna do to start off is we're gonna name it Fortnite montage sample something like that we're gonna press create and right when we start off, we want to come over here to the edit tab, go up here to file project settings and change this to 60 FPS and then leave our timeline resolution. Just make sure it's at 1920 by 1080. That's super important. Press save. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to find our clips. So I got them right here. I'm going to drag them into our little media pool right here. If you don't have this tab open and you just have something like this, make sure you click on media pool and effects. We're going to be using those both. And just like that, we should be good to go. The last step is we're going to find our music. So find wherever you have it. Um, I'm using a song by Two Gaudi called satisfaction and we're actually just going to drag that into the timeline to start off so starting off we're going to do sync so for syncing what i mean is lining up our kills with specific beats on the song so to start off i'm just going to trim down a little portion in here uh, you guys will probably have the entire song you can see where the audio peaks that's where we're going to have our first kill so to add markers inside of davinci resolve you can use m i'm going to click on the layer press m on the beat and then our second beat's going to be here and honestly, I'm just going to show you how to do two kills like that. So uh, right after that, we're just literally going to drag it down, cut it down. That's literally the portion we're going to be using here. This is the audio that we're going to be using. And then I'm also going to add a marker here, which is going to be like the transition point that we're going to go between clips. Just like that should be good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to line it up with a kill. So honestly, this one should be good for an opener. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the clip to preview it and to trim it down. I'm literally going to come before the kill, press this little start arrow, go after the kill, back arrow. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find the kill find where the shotgun pelts are and we're gonna press m literally we can drag in the clip just like this i'm gonna quickly drag this down to the second audio track you can see that this marker is where the kill is we're literally gonna line that up with the marker we already did it. and it's literally that simple you just gotta drag it on both sides that's literally all there is to it in terms of syncing it's that easy and we're just gonna do that with the second clip as well um we're gonna probably use this one here so we're gonna go to the right this here go to the kill find our pellets using the arrow keys press m and drag it in we're gonna line up the marker with the kill literally that simple and dude it's that simple that's literally us done syncing the first two clips it's that easy so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add slow-mo to our kills so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it on the kill just like that and all we got to do is we're gonna right click and unlink the audio so we don't have the audio slowing down so to do that right click and we'll see that we can just right click unselect the link clips that way you can select each individually then we're gonna right click on it we're gonna go to read time controls we're gonna click on this little arrow change speed 50 percent and then we're gonna drag it down unlink this as well just so we can drag that over that's literally that we're gonna do the exact same thing right click read time controls change speed 50 percent drag that down that's literally all there is to it it's looking great already it's already looking really really good so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start focusing on impacts so to do this we're just gonna come over here to our effects menu we're gonna drag on an adjustment clip and we're gonna make sure that the adjustment clip lasts from the kill all the way to the end of the clip and we're just going to end up doing that with the second clip too but i'm gonna show you how to do this first so we're gonna go click on this press this little wand here which is gonna take us into the fusion tab looks a little something like this and the first effect we're gonna add is gonna be a camera shake so to add an effect press control space bar on your keyboard at the exact same time we're gonna look up 
camera shake this one right here Let's add and that should be that so make sure to copy these settings so we're going to change our x deviation to zero our y de deviation is going to be 0.5 so we can see that that's a bit shaky there. Rotation deviation is going to be zero. The randomness, we're going to change to 0.02. And that's looking good. The overall strength, we're going to change to 0.09. Maybe 0.2, actually. That's looking good. And the speed, we're going to keep on 0.08. What we're going to do, we also want to make sure our edges are changed to mirror. We're going to mirror. Looking good. So I know it's repetitive, but trust me. So for the overall strength, for, this is going to be our Y shake. We're going to keyframe this at 0.2 for the overall strength. Then we're going to go 10 frames in so we can see 10 right here. Drag it down to zero. Maybe we can actually change the overall strength a little more. That's looking good. So now all we got to do is we're going to go control space again. We're going to add another camera shake. This time we're going to do something with the rotation deviation. So we're going to drag down the X, drag down the Y. Rotation deviation we can change to like 0.4 and then the overall speed, the overall strength will change to 0.5 and then the speed to 0.25 ish. You can obviously mess around with your own settings. I'm going to change this to mirror as well. And then at the beginning, we're going to frame our overall strength at 0.5. And at the very end, we're going to come here and drag it down to zero. That's looking good. And then we're probably going to add something like a glow. So DaVinci Resolve offers all these effects built in. So the glow, just like this, all we have to do for this, we can drag the glow size up or down, we'll change like the brightness. Obviously, this is way too bright. So we're probably just going to leave it on default. The blend at the beginning, we're going to keyframe at probably like 0.3. I know it might be a little bright. Maybe let's do 0.25. And then at the very end, we're going to bring it down to zero. And honestly, all you got to do if you want to copy paste this to another clip, let's say you want to put this on your second clip as well. Press control C, go to the edit tab again. We're going to drag an adjustment clip to the second clip here and cut it down. So it goes from the kill where our marker is to the very end. We just literally go inside of it, add them just like this, disconnect this, connect it to the left side, connect it like that. We literally got the same effect in the second clip. I have a bunch of presets in the description that you guys can download to add on to your adjustment clips or transitions. And that's literally like a basic Fortnite montage done already. I'm just going to quickly show you transitions and that's pretty much that. So for DaVinci Resolve, they offer a bunch of different built-in transitions. They got something like cross dissolve, where you literally can just drag that in and it will automatically dissolve. They got additive dissolve, which I really like, which will just kind of like blend the two clips together. You got non-additive dissolve, which is another personal favorite like that one. And then they also offer like zoom in and out, zoom in, which I'll quickly show you super clean but yeah i mean that's pretty much that in terms of built-in software stuff once you start adding more advanced effects it gets a little complicated with downloading plugins and stuff like that i'll have an advanced tutorial in the description for you guys to actually follow along if with. you want to learn how to edit inside of davinci resolver after effects like more advanced montages using those effects like i said in the intro i'll also have my edit pack down below in the description for you guys to check out i got a ton of effects there it's literally the best all-in-one five dollar pack literally the price of like a burger at mcdonald's but it will take your montage to the next level and allow you to edit for other people as well so make sure to go check that out i did mention that in the intro but if you guys did enjoy you learned something new make sure to like comment subscribe it helps me out a ton all the links are down below good luck editing